Hi guys, today I will be talking about some hidden commands in Maya which are pretty good for ray topology and I will also show you a script which I made to execute these commands so sit back and stay tuned. Before we start I want to say thanks to all of you guys we have recently crossed over 1000 subscribers it's really feels great that you enjoying my content if you like this video then don't forget to like share subscribe and do a awesome comment that will really help me so without wasting any time let's start so we have some objects here and i'm going to boolean it so select the source mesh and the target then go to mesh boolean and difference so again same source target then boolean so i have i got some uh, some shape like this and i'm duplicating it so that i could take a backup okay now you have to type poly remesh in the mail tab keep the spelling in mind small p capital r and after you type poly remesh hit enter so now you got something like this uh, it fills up the ngons and now if you press ctrl a then this poly remesh tab should come up you have to adjust the refine threshold it is basically the size of the triangles how less the value is the triangle should be much lesser and it will capture more detail but it will be much lower so be careful with that and now select the object and type poly retopo and if you getting error something like this then unselect and select again this poly retopo so you will get something like this as you can see we got a clean topology but it is too much dense so we can go to this poly retopo tab and reduce this target face count to a uh, less value uh, by default it's 2000 i'm set i set it to 1000 so yeah you can see the poly count is reduced now and it's still maintaining the shape if you compare it to the old one then it is pretty better topology as you can see so now try with this one so this is a panel and a screw so i want to experiment with this one so this has a proxy mesh here so that i can boolean it now let's boolean difference so as you can see it's great ngons so I type here poly remesh. Uh, keep in mind the uh, spelling, please. So now it's created with triangles. I can reduce this refine threshold so that it, it will capture more details. Then poly retopo. So if you get this error, then unselect, then select. Yeah, so now you can see it is pretty clean topology some edges are really uh, looking little odd but we can always fix that manually five hundred seems a good value so because it's a screw and it also don't need five hundred triangles but still it's a good topology so i will manually fix it a little bit so that i could show you that how much work you need to do after fixing an object so as you can see it is pretty clean now uh, the base select the source then target then difference so as you can see uh, i got a pretty clean boolean there but the topology is not clean so i have to type poly remesh in poly retopo so again if you got this error then deselect then select it again now you can see it is pretty clean now go to poly remesh and sorry poly retopo and reduce this value uh, i will keep it to 700 it it's looks pretty clean to me here and let me show you something to keep in mind uh, i will copy this and undo this thing and 
I paste it again here. So I have this two mesh, the older one and the newer one here. So now what you need to do, you have to turn on the toggle soft edge and hard edge display. So um, now you can see th these edges are hard edges and these and the other edges is soft edges. If I do the complete soft edge to this object and type polyry mesh, then you can see it is no longer holding the shapes anymore. It's kind of looking like blobby clay and it, it, that's not what we want, right? So uh, even if you run polyry topo, it will not going to fix all the cleanness. So it will still look like this blobby jelly thing. So uh, I'm changing the blin color to plain so that you can see it is totally dandy. And so what you uh, have to keep in mind that poly remesh and poly retopo respect your hard edges. So please do uh, keep in mind that you have your hard edges and soft edges in correct positions. So now as you can see here, um, this I have these cubes and it is a uh, torus here. So you can uh, boolean it. I am going to union this and uh, as you can see it is join this mesh together and now I am going to type poly remesh and it will so you can see here hard edges and standard edges so I, I keep it on my shelf so you can see the purple edges are hard edges and it should be uh, hard edges like this if I uh, do soft edges then you saw that how it the result came out of the uh, previous model so now uh, I did the poly remesh thing uh, it is called triangulated everywhere. I am going to reduce this threshold a little more so that it will capture the smaller details also. So now you can see here and you can also play with this interpolation type. Uh, it, it gives you different result uh, as per different conditions. Uh, in this case the uh, hybrid is fine and most of the cases hybrid is fine. So poly, now poly retopo, now you can see it is the complete clean single object. Now it's, it's fix all his edges and it will completely single root mesh. It has its benefit also, but it has some demerits also. Uh, it can't hold uh, the heavier mesh files. Uh, it will get crashed quite often uh, maybe Maya has to improve it that's why they don't uh, give a direct option to this they only have a command for this one so now I am showing you the uh, script I made you will get the download link in the description and after you download you can uh, load it like this Go on open where you shaved I saved in the desktop I will call like this so you will get something like this and here is the button to save to the shelf click this one it will ask you the name you want to give anything you can give no particular then okay now to save this in yourself you have to go to file and save reference then this setting icon then save all selves now it's saved now if you click this one you will cut this window like this and it, it has also the boolean options in it so you can quickly boolean also you can see uh, you will get the poly remesh and poly retopo tab right there and you can quickly adjust it so you don't have to type anything the script will do everything so you can boolean it here remesh it retopo it and boolean you differentiate it here then remesh it retopo it if you got the error then unselect and select it again again union remesh retopo 
so yeah you can see it will take a little bit time in fast forward also so <laughs> make sure you have a uh, lighter mesh if your mesh is too much dense the, it might not work and it will get crash apply the mirror again so now we'll, you will get something like this and you can mirror it in any direction in 3d space so it doesn't has to be uh, x minus x y minus y z minus c yeah you can also mirror it to 45 degree and 25 degree yeah yeah so i think it it might come um, much handy if your symmetrical object in 3d space is uh, in diagonal angle or in a off angle if you have a object in 3d space which is symmetrical but it's the whole object is rotated then you can do this mirror quite easily so yeah i think this will help you and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and keep me motivated your comments really help me please do share your thoughts that you are like this video or not so i want to show this really cool stuff to you uh, go to this create tab and type so enter a text as you can see it is pretty procedural mesh and it doesn't connect his internal lines so if i'm trying to fix this i have to manually add edges between them something like this so it will take me ages to do this believe me it, it it has so many ages so what you can do uh, you can select the whole object and click on poly remesh to it and it will triangulate whole the object so yeah and if you hit ctrl a and go to this poly remesh tab you can reduce this value uh, to 0.7 as per your model it's not a specific number so yeah then poly retopo if, if you hit poly retopo like this it doesn't gonna work because uh, poly remesh uh, we work in single connected mesh so in order to do that you have to separate it like this and now you can try poly retopo so as you can see it is pretty clean topology and you can assign the lambert back so now you can do all same steps to other um, 3d texts and it will really give me really good result and also you can adjust uh, by going poly retopo tab and reducing the poly count it, it also reduce the poly count also so it is a very clean way to uh, refine this text and you can select can't select multiple objects at the same time you have to do one by one and one more thing it, it's currently working on um, Maya 2018 and it doesn't work on lower version of that so please make sure that you are trying it in Maya 2018 and if you make something cool then don't forget to tag me on my facebook the link in the description and i really want to see that what you guys come up with i think it's going to be pretty helpful for you and if it does then please don't forget to like share and subscribe and do a comment that's it for today and i will see you guys in the next time